The trillion dollar plan to modernize our nuclear defense system could drastically impact some communities in western Nebraska. Now, there are 80 missile silos located in the Panhandle near Kimball. Those are slated to be upgraded beginning later this year. But Kimball leaders are concerned, saying they're not ready for the influx of workers and heavy equipment. As KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports, they're now asking senators for $26 million to help. For the past 60 years, Nebraska's Panhandle has been home to 80 Minuteman launch sites and nine alert facilities. Now the U.S. military is planning to pour $87 billion in Nebraska alone to upgrade its missile defense system. We've got about 3,000 workers coming to Kimball, which doubles the size of Kimball. And Kimball is concerned how it will handle the demands on infrastructure and housing. Water, sewer, electric, uh, you're talking about transportation. That's why Kimball residents came to the Capitol to support LB 712. It sets aside $26 million to help communities affected by the historic military project. Making sure the communities of the Panhandle are not harmed by the massive influx of people. Kimball leaders say they will use the money to leverage federal matching funds. It can help build roads, boost law enforcement, and purchase emergency equipment. We are not here asking for a handout. We're here asking for a partner. One economic study shows that for every dollar the state spends, it can expect a dollar twenty-nine back in increased tax revenues. And on top of that, you know, we're hoping that this will be the largest uh, social economic opportunity that we've had in over a half a century. No one testified against the bill. Nebraska National Guard Adjutant General Darrell Bohawk testified in the neutral position, saying he supported the upgrades but believes the Air Force should be picking up the tab. Residents say they just need help. It's not a matter of if they were coming, but when. And that could be just months away. In Lincoln, Androzaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.